guys, how's it going? Today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and a get to know me. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I recommend you do. I asked you guys to ask me questions so I could answer throughout this video. Some are juicy, some are whatever, but if you want to get to know me more, then keep watching this off. I'm going to start with these cooling under eye pads. I got these at TJ Maxx, so I'm sure they're nothing fancy, but my eyebrows or my um, under eyes have been really bad lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my eyelids while I do the rest of my makeup. Ooh, okay, these are very refreshing. It actually feels really good. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with like basic questions and then I'll answer your guys's because you guys asked some dirty questions. I guess I did say make it juicy, but damn, you guys, you guys really wanna know all the deets, huh? So basically, I just bought this pencil, I gotta open it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off name, basic. <laughs> My name's Kareni, Kareni Martinez. I am currently 26 years old. I just turned 26 on June 3rd. Where was I born? I was born and raised in Minnesota, actually. I lived there until I was 15 years old and when I turned 15, a couple months later, my dad got deported. So that's how I ended up living in Mexico for like three years and that is where I met Enrique. Someone actually asked that question. They're like, oh, how did you and Enrique meet? And I met Enrique there. You know, blessing in disguise. I guess it was a good thing that my, that my dad got deported or else I never would have met Enrique. By the way, this brow pencil, so good. I think this might be my new favorite. It's so good, you guys. I'm in love with it. It's Ulta Beauty Sculpting Brow Pencil. Like even the shape and everything, I was kind of skeptical at first. I've never used that shape, but it's so good. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the eyes. Oh, well, uh, going back to the question of how I met Enrique. So I actually have a husband Q&A on my channel because I feel like a lot of you guys asked that question. How did Enrique and I meet? It's called Husband Q&A Bikini Barista Edition. Like even though it says Bikini Barista Edition, I still, explained on there how we met. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some powder to my eyelids. So the next question is, how many kids do I want in the future? So I'm currently pregnant as you guys or may, or may not know. It depends on our financial situation. Ideally, if things go good for us, I would like to have four kids. I just, I really want a big family. I basically grew up um, with no brothers and sisters. So actually, oh yeah, this was a question. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have two brothers and a sister. But, funny story, all my brothers and sisters, so I'm 26, right? All my brothers and sisters are 45, 46 years old. And I am from a different dad, so I was my dad's only child, uh, not my mom's. But uh, another funny story is, when I was born, my dad was 18 and my mom was 40. <laughs> It was really weird growing up because my dad was the same age as my siblings, so that was different. So I guess you could say my mom was a bit of a cougar. Hi mom, I know she watches my videos, but it's true. But I basically did not grow up with siblings because my brothers and sisters, obviously they were in college, they were out partying, having the time of their lives, you know. And me, I was just a baby <laughs> pretty much, so. Tell us your baby name ideas. Um, well, it depends. We still don't know if we're having a boy or a girl. If it's a girl, we want to name her Vanessa just to keep like the V's going, Victoria and Vanessa. If it's a boy, we really like Maxim Maximo. But I'm still unsure of that name for a boy just because, you know, in Spanish it sounds good, but He's obviously going to live here in the United States, so I feel like that's going to be a really hard name for people to pronounce because growing up, it was the worst having my name, Kareni. Well, it's pronounced Kareni, but everybody would call me like Carney, Karen. So that was kind of annoying always having to correct people. So I want a name that's going to sound good in Spanish, but also English. Just okay, so I went ahead and stuck my lashes and eyeliner on a off camera. I'm gonna take off these iPads now. It says not to rinse it, but just leave it on there. So, what I'm gonna do. It actually feels very hydrating. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use this Luminous Silk 
from Giorgio Armani. This is really good foundation, one of my favorites, but it's just so expensive. It's like $70, so I don't like using it that often, but for you guys, I will. The next question is, have I ever gotten plastic surgery of any kind? And the answer is yes. Uh, I've only done one thing, and that is my boobs. I got my boobs done four years ago, 2016, so yeah, about four years ago. I've had them for a while. I used to be a 32B or something like that. It was just always an insecurity of mine, and then that was before I was a bikini barista, and I just like saved a lot of money, and I was able to buy them. And also, since my brother is a plastic surgeon, he didn't do my boobs, but he knew someone that he worked with, so I got like a good, <laughs> a good discount. Mine are silicone. They're 400 cc's each, a high profile. So they definitely are not how they used to be. When I first gotten them done, they looked more balloony. I guess I would call it balloony. Yeah, more perky, a lot more perfect. And right now. No, oh, being a mom, it kind of like drags them down a little bit, but I just feel like now they look a lot more natural. Like I think that's why so many people ask me because it's, you really can barely tell. And even when you feel them, like I seriously cannot feel the implant anymore. I just, it feels like a real booby. Okay, so next for concealer, I'm using the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer, Central Skin Enhancer. This is also a super expensive concealer. This was like almost $50. I just bought it. I have never used it. This is the first time, but I've been watching this YouTube channel. It's called Makeup by Spencer. He's so good at doing makeup. If you guys haven't checked him out, check him out. He's so good. And he highly recommended this because he said like a little bit goes a long way. Uh, yeah, so going back to the plastic surgery thing, I've only gotten my boobs done, but I want to get more things done in the future. So once I have my babies, I want to get a BBL. Yeah, I want to spice it up a little bit. I just want a little more volume and I don't necessarily want butt implants. Oh my God, you guys, I love this concealer already. Did you see, I only put like a little dab of it and it's doing so much and the coverage is amazing. Like it literally covered everything and the texture is so nice. Like it does not look cakey. I'm sure if you add more, it'll start looking cakey, but oh my gosh, this was such a good investment. I'm so happy. Thank you, Makeup by Spencer. <laughs> I would like to get the BBL. And for those of you who don't know, it's basically just liposuction. Get all the fat that you have and plug it in your butt. Or <laughs> plug it in your butt, put it in your butt. No, 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 here. I have your makeup brushes here because I knew you would ask. I have our own little container of makeup brushes. Next question. How much is your rent in Seattle or monthly expenses that are fixed? You guys, my rent is ridiculous. So I have a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. How much do you guys think my rent is? It's insane, but it's probably what a little studio right in downtown would cost. So our rent is 2,500 a month. And you know, utilities, which is you know electricity, water, uh, parking is an extra $80 fee. It is not cheap living in Washington. Let me tell you, it is pretty expensive. So yeah, you can buy a house, you can rent a house for this money if you just live further. And honestly, I'm kind of done with city. I don't want to live city anymore. I kind of just want to, if I could, like if I had a lot of money and I could buy a house, I would live somewhere, not off grid, but it would be kind of like far. I don't really like city life anymore. I do you like wearing your work attire with Enrique? Well, obviously you guys seen my outfits. Well, some of them. I have like even worse outfits. Not not like worse, but they're just a lot more explicit. Well, obviously, yeah, sometimes I do, but Enrique is more of a just wear long socks type of guy. It's true. I don't know what it is about men in long socks. It's a, it's a thing. So now I'm applying some highlighter. Okay, so another question was, do you miss getting the attention at work from all the guys? Hmm, that's a good question. Like, I don't necessarily miss it, but it definitely made you feel more confident in yourself. So right now that I'm pregnant, my confidence is like, usually it's here, right now it's like, I would probably benefit from getting compliments at work. Okay, so now for my bronzer, I'm using the Kylie bronzer. And also I feel like that's why a lot of girls, they get a little too confident and then they turn cocky. Like, no hate on braces, like I'm glad they have 
that much confidence, but some of them have a little bit too much confidence and it shows like it's just to the point where it doesn't sound confident anymore. It just sounds very conceited like they're better than everybody else so yeah you can't let all those compliments get to you for sure I feel like when I worked as a bikini barista I kind of was getting to that point at one at one point before I was pregnant with Victoria actually I was already pregnant with Victoria but I didn't know so for three months I worked at the busiest stand that they owned it was busy I'm talking like a hundred cars per shift so there would be the morning girl and then I worked the afternoon shift which was 12 to 7 and yeah it was super busy a hundred cars was what I needed to do in order to make myself so I knew that I needed a hundred people to come in can you imagine seeing a hundred people in seven hours it was ridiculous like it was non-stop but I feel like my confidence went up a lot just because of all those compliments that I hear all day and also knowing that I worked at the best stand like that is where the best girls work at there was only like maybe four different girls that worked at that stand and I happened to be one of them so it definitely got to me and you know that life can get kind of dangerous in a way because yeah you get kind of cocky honestly and then the amount of money you make at that stand too is just like damn you know I feel hot, I feel rich, I feel all these things. So it's nice, just can be dangerous is all I'm saying. So I would make so much money at that stand, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Like I worked there for, I worked there three months. I at least made 10,000 a month. That's how much I was making. And I only worked four days a week. Can you guys imagine that? So, yeah, but then I, no, 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 then I found out I was pregnant with Victoria <laughs> and I quit. You know, I tried working more at that stand because obviously I wanted to save up more money because I knew I wasn't going to be able to work anymore since I was pregnant, but I just couldn't. Um, I just was so moody and I also was pretty nauseous with her, so it was just very overwhelming seeing that many people during the day and having to deal with the hormones and all the symptoms that come with pregnancy so yeah unfortunately I only lasted like three and a half months working there I wish I would have lasted longer because I would say I would have saved up a lot more money but yeah dang it the sun went away no I wanted to keep doing the golden hour anyway, next question I feel like I got a little bit too carried away with that question like, when did you lose your virginity I was just talking about this earlier with my mom and Enrique <laughs> I lost my virginity at 15 years old. It was honestly not great. <laughs> it actually sucked. It, I don't even know if I consider it losing my virginity because the guy at the end was like kind of scared and it was just so awkward. Like he just at the end, I think he maybe did like a couple little insertions. <laughs> So oh, yeah, honestly, it was one of those awkward, I wish it didn't happen things. And that is when I lived in Minnesota. Then when I went to Mexico, that's when I met Enrique. And I would say, honestly, he took my virginity. <laughs> so I met Enrique when I was 16 years old. We've known each other for 10 years, but we didn't become a couple till 2012? Yeah, 2000, no, 2013. 2013 is when we officially became a couple. So yeah, we've been together seven years. So obviously during those other three years, like uh, we were dating other people, we were doing our own thing. I ended up actually leaving Mexico and moving to Washington. I actually graduated here in Washington, but even though I would get asked out and everything during high school and guys would ask me to be their, what's it called, girlfriend, I would always say no. And they were such sweet guys and handsome, but even though Enrique lived in Mexico, I knew deep down in my heart that I wanted to be with him. So yeah, I would go out with guys and everything, and I, but we never dated anybody. And I remember us saying like, one day we're gonna get married, one day we're gonna have kids and stuff, and Enrique said that too, so I don't know. We got back together. I actually was gonna go to college here in Washington, and I remember I just bought a ticket, went to Mexico, and I didn't do it. I was just that, in love with Enrique that I went back to Mexico and I lived there for like a year again with him and the rest is history. Now we're married, we have a baby and one on the way. 
that's just how life works and honestly i wouldn't have it on any other way i'm so happy with him i'm happy with how our life turned out have we had our ups and downs yes we have just like any other relationship i feel like me and him have been through so much and i think this right now this moment in our lives is like the strongest we've been it's just it's nice it's nice to be married to your best friend and knowing that no matter how bad shit gets you guys will always be together so yeah, I love you. <laughs> Do you have a weird barista story you may have forgotten in your last vid? Yes, actually. Well, like I said, those were just like one of the ones that I thought were the creepiest, weirdest. But I think, now that I think of it, another weird one that happened was um, this cop rolled in when I was working at that busy stand. And the outfits that I would wear at that stand were super explicit. like legit almost naked you could see all my goods so yeah a cop rolled in and i was like oh fuck like i'm sure i'm gonna get a ticket or something so yeah he, the cop came in i was so scared i was like putting i had long hair so i like i still do but i put it like in front of my nipples just so I'd be like okay maybe you'll forgive me he rolled up and just asked for a coffee like nothing he was super nice too but it was so weird i honestly don't know if that is allowed because he was literally in his cop car cop clothes he was obviously working i seriously don't think that's allowed but i feel like he just wanted his coffee and did not care yeah he came in got his coffee i was still like so weirded out by the whole situation and he tipped me ten dollars too which is shocking i did not expect a tip from him but he was nice, respectful, and tipped me $10, and he was a cop, like, what the hell? My makeup's done, you guys, <laughs> but I'll still keep talking. So, yeah, I've heard about cops coming in before and then giving the girls tickets for their outfits or making them change on the spot, but I guess I got lucky, but it was, like, super weird for me. Another weird thing, I guess, not so much weird, but just bad. Guys will come in completely naked. Obviously, I always close the door right away because I already know that means bad business. Or you'll be making their coffee and then they get really silent. And that's when I know I'm like, oh, this guy's totally jacking off. So I turn around and they're jacking off. So then I have to like throw a drink at them. I never throw a hot drink at them. I know there's like a video on YouTube of a girl, of one of the braces that actually threw a hot drink at a customer. They definitely do deserve it, but I always make sure I have like ice cold water or some kind of ice beverage and then i'll just throw it at them if they start doing that shit because that does not slide with me i will throw drinks in your car i have thrown drinks at so many guys whenever i like throw drinks at them it's pretty funny but they deserve it next question what is your motivation in life future goals and girl nothing but love for you and family thank you so much motivation in life now that I'm a mom, honestly, my babies. I know it's cliche, but it's true. Like, I want to give them the best life possible. I want them to have what I didn't have. Even though I had a really good life growing up, honestly, my dad was such a hard worker and he gave me everything. I, you just, I think that's part of everybody, right? They just want to give their kids more than what they had. So I hope that Enrique and I stay together forever, honestly, because I think what really messed me up at one point was when my parents broke up like i i guess i knew it was gonna happen just because of the age difference like they actually lasted a long time uh, even though they were like the 20 year age difference they were together until i was 16 and then they broke up but and once they broke up it kind of just made me more rebellious i would say i definitely didn't care about school as much as i should have I would party all the time. I would just go out and not tell them. I know that if they would have been stricter on me, I would have probably gone to college, done all those things, done blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's just, it, life still ended up good for me, but I probably would have been a lot more successful right now. Did I Future goals, well, I guess for now, just um, buying a house, exchanging my two-door BMW for an actual mom car or a mom van because because I bought my BMW not knowing I was gonna get knocked up. <laughs> I guess right now I'm doing YouTube so hopefully just 
be more successful at YouTube so one day I can have more subscribers and make more money off YouTube. It would be nice to have this as a job. Honestly, I really like doing YouTube, so. Okay, what was your high school experience like? Well, as you guys heard, that my dad got deported, so I went to school in Mexico. Oh my gosh, you guys, I went to six different high schools. That's how chaotic my high school life was. So it kind of sucked for me because I never ended up making like long time friends, you know? I would just go from one school to the other to the other. It was honestly really stressful. I would always be kind of like the loner just because I would always be the new person either halfway through the year or some beginning of the year nobody would know me and it was awful you guys also i always ended up making friends not lifelong friends unfortunately i mean i still talk to a lot of them but it's not something like oh let's hang out because obviously a lot of them live in mexico a lot of them live in minnesota i even went to high school in oklahoma that's how crazy everything got at one point so yeah, I have people in Oklahoma, Minnesota, Mexico, Washington. I went to school in Washington. Washington was the best school that I went to in terms of um, bullying because I was bullied a lot through high school. I think it's because I was always like the new girl and I think where I got bullied the most was Oklahoma because obviously Oklahoma is the school that I went to. It was kind of like a rich kid school. So I was the only Mexican. Maybe there was like another one, but I was basically the only Mexican girl. Dude, the amount of racism was bad. So yeah, that was going to high school in Oklahoma was a really bad experience, honestly. I don't even want to remember those times. And I think that's also why I want my kids to not have that in their life because that also was really hard on me. I would say the best high school experience for me, like where I had the most fun, was in Mexico. I went to this private college. Uh, well, that's what they call it. It's like a private school, private Catholic school. You would think like everybody's a goody goody, but that was the best time of my life. I partied so much and it was just so much fun. Like I'm glad I got to experience that. I probably shouldn't have because I was only 17 at the time and in Mexico, you can go to bars even if you're 16 or 17 so i know it wasn't right but i still had fun not promoting it you should not do that but it's just what i experienced i had fun i wouldn't want that for my kids though <laughs> okay so i think i'm just gonna cut the video there just because i don't want to make this video like 30 minutes long that was basically my makeup a uh, very simple bronzy summer makeup i don't know what to call it you guys like you you guys know I like wearing a lot of blush, but now I just add bronzer and highlighter as well. Um, so yeah, that was it for my get ready with me Q&A, get to know me. If you guys have more questions, I can do like a part two. Yeah, there is more questions. I just, there's, I feel like this is too long. I'm taking too long explaining each thing. I just want to say thank you guys so much again for all the support. It's really just makes me so happy seeing all your guys' comments. I read every single one and they always just melt my heart. And also, yeah, make sure to just send me more of what you guys want to see in my channel since I, my channel is still new I, I feel like I'm still trying to find my is it called niche let me google that really quick I seriously thought niche was a word but it says a niche is a is something in a wall <laughs> I'm still trying to find what my type of content is gonna be so yeah I'll probably just keep uploading these random videos every <laughs> every week but I hope you guys just have patience with me. Anyway, I'm babbling. Okay, I tend to do that a lot. I talk a lot. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.